Good evening everyone, welcome back to my channel. So this is the second video going up and I have to say I'm even more nervous doing this than I was last week. Um, but hey ho, I shall carry on. Um, before I get cracking though, I just wanted to say a huge thank you and it just is genuine 100%. Thank you so much to everybody that has been so welcoming, put lovely comments, liked the video, watched the video and even subscribed. It genuinely means a lot and I honestly didn't think for one minute that my video was going to get any views, let alone the number of views it has. I mean, I'm not breaking any records here, but I'm quite touched by the fact that I've got, you know, what I've got on my small little channel with one video. So. Thank you again from the bottom of my heart. It does genuinely mean a lot. And it does give me a lot of encouragement to, you know, uh, want to carry on and spur me on. So again, thank you. Anyway, enough of me rambling because I'm sure you ain't come here to hear me ramble on. But I just thought, let me get out the thank you now because no doubt I'll come on here, I'll start filming and I'll just forget and people are going to think, wow, she's rude. I'm not, I'm very lovely. Anywho, let's get cracking. So this week, what we are doing. So last week we did sinking funds and the weekly budget. This week for week 36, we're doing zero sinking funds because we've done that. We do that once a month. We are just going to look at the weekly budget, what we've got left over and replenishing that for next week. So without further ado, let's get into it. So let's just have a look at what we've got left. That's probably the best thing to do before we start filling these envelopes. So, oh, hold on, let me remind myself what I put in. That might be a big help. Right, so we worked out we had £130 to spend for the week across four categories. So groceries, travel, miscellaneous stroke treats and social. Now some of these, I well I've pretty much touched all of these apart from one. You probably guess that that's the social one because I've been very anti-social. But I am going out for dinner tomorrow night so there we are. That money will surely get spent. So groceries, we had £50 in there and we've still got... £10 and a load of change left. So what I'm going to do is all of this small change I'm just going to put into the change jar because there's no point in carrying this around. I ain't going to tell you exactly what I've got left because we'll be here all evening me trying to count all these shrapnels. So, whack that small change in there. Oh, what am I going to do with this pound? Whack the pound in there. Right, with this tenner, what I'm going to do, let's just put that to one side for the minute and then I'll work out what I'm going to do with that ten pound. I'm going to, I think I'm going to put a little envelope aside with like, not leftovers, that sounds a bit wrong, doesn't it? Left, I've got le not leftovers, surplus, no, that sounds even worse, doesn't it? extra spare i don't know but we'll stick it in an envelope and then whatever we've got at the end of the month we'll transfer into our sinking funds and that sounds like an idea doesn't it okay so well that was groceries see look i've only been on for a few minutes and i'm already in a tiz right miscellaneous Lots of change. Right, we'll whack this anything up to fifty pence. Over fifty pence. Fifty pence and over will stick in a separate stash. And small change can go in that jar. So that's miscellaneous. Travel, I've still got £10 left in the travel, so that we can put into our 
air pile. And then in social, I haven't used any of this, but to be fair, as I'm going out for dinner tomorrow night, I think I'm gonna leave this in it and then that should cover dinner and drinks. I think that's gonna make more sense in it. Leave that in there, otherwise I might find myself a bit short. Right, so that's all our wallets now empty. Let's get to refilling. So, I might change this up only slightly. A groceries is still gonna get 50 quid because although I only spent 40, well, 30 something, I think, 50 quid is the right amount. I've got to get some like soap powder and stuff this week. So I think we'll stick with 50 quid for groceries. And as I said, if we've got anything left over, then happy days, it can go into the leftover pile. And I think, do you know what? That may soon add up. So that's groceries done. Social, I am going to put 40 quid in because I'm a little night out. So that gives me 80 quid. I mean, I probably won't spend all of that, but it's just nice to have that money there just in case I fancy an extra cocktail or two. Honestly, it's been such a long week. It's been a short week with a, what, with a bank holiday, but I tell you, I feel like I'm so drained today. I literally feel like, oh God help me. And my eyes are so dry. My flat is just so warm and literally being stuck sat at a laptop all day. My eyes are really starting to suffer because I don't really get up and move. Once I log in, I log in and I'm normally sat there until I need a wee, a cup of tea, or I'm having my lunch, or I need to pop out and run errands. But honestly, my eyes feel like they've been rolling around the desert sands. It, they feel tragic, honestly. Oh my God. But anyway, I'm rambling on. Um, right, so that's social, groceries, miscellaneous and treats. I'm gonna put, we had 10 pound in there last week. I'm gonna put 20 pound in this week. And I tell you for why, because I know for a fact, if I'm going out Friday, Saturday I'm probably going to be a little bit worse for wear, let's be honest. I mean, these days I've only got to look at a glass of wine and I feel rough for about a week. So now me, come Saturday, I'm going to want like a proper carb heavy treat. So we're going to, rather than put the 10, we'll put 20 pound in. And as I said, if I don't spend it, I don't spend it. But I'd rather be on the safe side because I'm trying to be really disciplined in these. Like what goes in is what goes in and you can't go outside of that. Otherwise it's defeating the object, isn't it? Anywho, so then leaving us with travel. Travel is getting 20 pound instead of 30 because I don't anticipate, I'm not planning on going to the office next week, so. I won't be going anywhere really. And where I live, everything's so local. I mean, my local kind of, all the shops, my local Asda's, it's literally a 10 minute walk for me. Um, so I, most of the travel I do do is on foot, unless I'm going into town or, you know, I've got an appointment or I'm going into work. So I think 20 pounds should be enough. And if it isn't, well, I better get my walking boots on because I can't go over my 20 quid. So, those are those done. And I need to change these. Do you know what? This just ain't work. These stickers keep peeling off. And I don't use a conventional purse. I've got like a little coin purse. And I've got my card holder. So I'm just kind of using these. But I think I need to get something a bit smaller and a bit more practical. And these are really like slippery. The stickers already keep peeling off. So I'm going to have a look out on um, Etsy at the weekend and see if I can't find something a bit more 
practical. If anyone knows of any smaller wallets that are a bit like easier to kind of transport about, then do let me know down in the comments below. Um, and I'll check those out. And I know a lot of ch channels on here do their own, sell their own bits and pieces. So I'm all for kind of supporting, you know, people within the community. So if anyone within the cash stuffing community here sells this kind of stuff then again just drop it down below and if i find something that i think is going to work for me um trust me i will purchase okay so that's those done um right let's put the lid back on my jar so what have we got left over 20 two four six 27 quid that's not bad okay so let's just whack that in here for now and then if i stick kind of in or under my budget i might have you know i might have 80 odd quid in here by the end of the month and that will go towards my emergency fund because we're trying to get that up to two thousand pound by the end of this year that was that was my goal um so i should be able to do that there's no reason why i shouldn't as long as i'm disciplined and i keep on track but that's what this channel is all about you know what it does help to keep you on track kind of hold you accountable and all that jazz so i am really enjoying this um Anyway, there we are. Okay, that was quick, weren't it? Jesus, it was like a flyby. 11 minutes. Okay, so that's me done, guys. Um, short and sweet. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, as I said, thank you so much to everyone who left a comment, liked the video, subscribed. It genuinely does mean a lot to me. I am hoping to grow this channel. You know, I am started it as a hobby. You know, started it as a means to kind of keep myself on track, push me to reach my kind of savings goals. This year, rest of this year, we're just kind of getting into the swing of the whole envelopes and being disciplined with the budget. And then next year, gonna look at doing some more, um, more challenging savings goals. I wanna do some challenges. Um, I'm debating whether to do the 5k or 10k challenge i need to kind of use these next few months just to work out you know what i can realistically save each month without kind of pushing myself to the point where i'm literally living the most frugalist life you could ever imagine because life's too short you've got to enjoy it but i also do think it's important that you know you've got that a bit of financial stability do you know what i mean because all with all that's gone on in the world you just never know do you so i do think it's important to have you know money saved up for those emergencies and, and whatnot and just so you feel less pressured and burnt do you know what i mean like you know what i mean i'm just chatting s-h-i-t now so do you know what i'm gonna go because i probably bored you all to death um anyway thank you again for all the um support greatly appreciated thanks for watching the video comment like and all that jazz down below um and i'll see you next week you know have a lovely weekend stay safe and i'll see you soon cheers guys bye